welcome to your love reading for January 2019. Keep in mind this is a general reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Rates, info, and email are below. Just send me an email. We can make that happen. I'm also offering a gift, um, gift readings. So you can give somebody a reading, email me regarding that, and I can tell you they're at a discounted rate. So for that person that has always wanted um, a tarot reading but hasn't, won't get it for themselves or someone you know, they could really use one. It's a really good holiday idea, good gift. Okay. Um, just some other things I want to mention. Go to my playlist in there. I'm uploading my 2019 Sun Moon readings. My 2018 Sun Moon readings are up there. My compatibility readings are on there that I'm always working on. Social media, I'm on Instant Go if you need a quick answer for a reasonable price. Look up Veronica Garnet on that app. Um, Facebook and Instagram, I'm on there, so make sure that you like and follow or message. And then finally, I'll be leaving a Vimeo link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling, whether it's a crush, a current, or an ex, okay? So let's get started. Alrighty. Um, you know what? Let me just, I might just need to check something real quick because I want to make sure that my audio is on. It is, or it appears to be. Okay. I just want to make sure. All right. So guys, we start off here for you. These, this is energies prior to as you're transitioning into January 2019. We had the Wheel of Fortune in reverse with the Nine of Cups. So this is really interesting to me because the Wheel of Fortune... I kind of had you guys saying, I'm never going to find anybody. I have the worst luck when it comes to love. Um, you know, I just can't believe this. When are things going to change? Everything's terrible. You might feel like, um, you know, in the love department, you're just, you're just out of luck, which is, could be the wheel of fortune in reverse. And, and it's out of your control. You, you felt kind of helpless, like you couldn't do anything about it. And I feel like just when you were at that point, boom somebody comes into your life okay because we have the nine of cups and this is somebody who fulfills you emotionally you're extraordinarily happy with this person you're very content and when this person comes in or came in because we're talking about energies prior to january 2019 they're like a wish come true and for some of you i saw like a holiday party or something like that like you run into them and it's just like wow you know i can't believe this person landed on my lap and and i'm so happy with them and this is what i was looking for so i feel like when you guys are at the the end of the worst part of your cycle when you just think there isn't any hope nothing's going to turn around is when you're actually going to meet this person okay so you move into january 2019 and we have the three of bees in reverse with the queen of moss in the reverse so this is kind of interesting because the three of bees in reverse is um you know coming out of some sort of pain having had move on from some sort of pain so you also meet this person when you're recovering from something okay so so you're in recovery mode you've come out of something you've actually moved on so that's great you met this person a really good time now what's interesting to me is that we have this queen of moths in reverse so you you got here you have this wonderful like opportunity or whatever and i feel like here you guys are second guessing it okay you don't feel confident enough some of you are like i can't believe this person likes me is this true you're definitely worrying too much about um you know you you're doubting yourself in regards to this relationship for some reason with this um, queen of moths. And not only that, in regards to this person, you're wondering what other people are going to think. And I'm telling you right now, I got the feeling that some of you feel that you are lesser than this person. Like they're so fantastic. Why are they with me? And we know that's really, really negative speak. So let's not try to get into that. Okay. Now, as you move out of January into February, so then to January into February, we have the Knight of Beetles with the Moon card in reverse. And the Moon card is the card of Pisces, if that resonates with you. Um, but here's where I think you realize this relationship can work, okay? Because the the Moon card, well, let's start with the, the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is about working on love, okay? Um, having a strategy in regards to love, not doing anything crazy, but you know, just deciding that something can work out and that you want to work on it. Okay. And that it can work out. How many times can I fit work in there? Right. And the moon card in reverse is you, um, realizing how these negative thought patterns, how this doubt, how this talking yourself out of it, um, isn't isn't conducive for anything okay so you guys have clarity with the moon card in reverse and you actually release yourself from the fear of thinking that this couldn't work out um, all that negative chatter that you guys have going on is actually going away um, and you're starting to understand how kind of um, 
having this kind of speak is going to affect the relationship and could actually, you know, stop something that really is such a beautiful thing. It's a blessing for you, okay? So, so it's good that you guys are figuring it out as you move into um, February. Can you please provide a clarification on the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? Why is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse for Virgo's love energies prior to January? Okay, so we have the Two of Wands. Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay. So I'm usually just pulling two. I like this because I do two twos, twos, two, two twos. Okay. So <laughs> two, two twos, and then twos and twos. All right. I'm all about the twos. Okay. So we have the two of wands, and that came out with the uh, ten of wands in reverse. Okay. So I'm feeling like you guys always tended to go with the safest bet. Okay. I feel this guy, you know, he's holding onto this pole and it's grounding him. Okay. And there's this other pole over here and that's the, that's the pole of risk. That's the pole of different opportunities, things going on. And I feel like you guys are always kind of holding on to the safest bet. You weren't taking those adventures. You weren't doing kind of what you needed to do. Okay. You were making the choice to kind of, you know, and, and that's also the wheel of fortune in reverse can be about going with the safest bet, the safest road. And I feel like that's what you guys always sort of did. And that's what, what kind of held things up from coming into your life. So rather than, you know, taking a chance on something, you decide for the thing that's, that's the, the surest thing for you or the safest or whatever, just very non-risk. And that's not really what allows something to kind of come into your life or a love, a different kind of love to come into your life, right? So with the 10 of wands, I feel like you guys actually are trying to free yourself up from that, okay? You're you're trying not to, um, I, don't, I don't even know how, how to put it, burden yourself, okay? You're, re you're realizing being like this is a burden. You're realizing that it's keeping you from opportunities. These these ways that you have or this, you know, the way you're hardwired or what have you. So you just kind of lighten up on yourself. You're like, you know, I'm not going to be like this anymore. I'm not going to, I'm not going to victimize myself like this. I'm going to, I'm going to kind of, you know, um, you know, free myself for this or try to free myself from this. And I feel like as soon as you do that, then is when that nine of cups person kind of comes in. Just, kind of that mentality, putting that into action allows this person to come in. Somebody that you would, um, and I was going to say never, never consider, but that's not really what I meant. Somebody that normally, um, cause I always say the universe is not going to allow a healthy love to come in until you're ready for it, until you're healthy and you're whole. So I think just the fact that you're trying to, um, think in a different way instead of a safer way and having these realizations is what allows this person to come to you. Can you please provide clarification of the Nine of Cups? Who is this person? What is this energy? Why is the Nine of Cups here in the upright? Oh, beautiful. You guys got the Sun card. Okay, so this person really is, really, really is somebody. You're, you never thought you'd meet them in your wildest dreams. For some of the, you, they might be a Leo. This is the card of Leo, if that resonates with you. But the, the sun card is about happiness and joy. And this person makes you feel warm and they make you feel good. And it's really positive energy. And you guys have nothing to hide from one another, okay? You feel very open to this person. And like you don't have to hide anything. This person is a great person. And maybe that's why you're questioning it. We have the four of pentacles here. And that's sort of holding on to wanting to hold on to this okay so be careful that you guys are maybe acting a little bit you didn't act well it's in the past it's too late now uh, well it depends on when you see this video i guess so make sure you're not too controlling make sure you're not too possessive like this person is so great and so wonderful you want to hold on to them and you want to have them all to yourself and and you have to be careful of that because it can be very cloying if you don't let somebody breathe and let them you know you don't want to clip their wings you want them to be that beautiful person that came into your life and not alter that okay so let's see what's going on with this three of bees in reverse. Can you please provide clarification on three of bees in reverse for Virgo? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages for the three of bees. Person, personality. Okay, so we have the strength card. That's another card of Leo for some of you. If you have that in your chart or you know Leo. Alrighty, so this is the right card. Okay, so you have recovered and you're feeling, I guess, very strong, very strongly. Okay. Because we have the strength card. So you, you, 
when you recovered, you kind of relied on an inner strength to kind of make that happen. You were feeling, you were feeling confident in love, or you are feeling confident in love here. But it's weird because here you lose it. And here's the magician card. Manifesting. Using all your skills to manifest love. To make something happen. To make that love that you've always wanted happen. Using these tools to find new love. Okay, so you had a recovery period. You're working on your strength. You're using whatever, re you're using whatever resources you have to work on love. If you're a relationship with this person in January, you're actually using everything you have available to you to improve this relationship. All right. But here's the thing. I don't know why you guys are doubting yourselves. Why this doubt and concern about what other people are thinking. Another thing is that while you're recovering, this person gave you strength. This person took your hand. This person, the magic man. I'm thinking of, you know, the song by heart. So I always think of that with a song, you know, cold late nights so long ago when I was not so strong, you know, pretty man came to me and never seen us so blue, you know, I, like that. So the magic man and comes into um, her life and, and this person is magical. So I think they came in um, right when you needed them. I feel like it was divine timing to tell you the truth, but this card is bothering me. I don't know why you guys are doing that to yourselves. Can you please provide clarification on the Queen of Maws? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages, please. For the Queen of Maws in reverse for Virgos. Love, January 2019. Hmm. Okay, this could be an X. Okay. Alrighty, so this probably isn't you guys. This is probably an X either your ex, the other person's ex. I'm thinking if it's a male, if, if you're a female, you're dating a male. No, I, I won't go there. I'll just say that this is an ex. And okay, everything's fantastic. You guys are doing great. You're recovering. And this person might be trying to mess things up for you a little bit because they're really resentful of this relationship. They're being angry. They're being petty. Okay. It doesn't necessarily have to be an ex, could be a mother in law, could be an aunt, could be somebody like that, or someone has feminine energies, but um yeah, they can get a little crappy. And the reason why the reason why I'm thinking or more more so that I was feeling that it was is because we have the five of pentacles in reverse with the four of wands in reverse. So this is about uh, somebody having to leave a home, somebody being shut out, somebody being thrown out. <laughs> As the Five of Pentacles is about just tossing somebody out in the cold, okay? And this Queen of Wands is not very happy about that. And I wonder if it's because you guys are like getting along swimmingly and there's all that magic and strength and everything's great and then this person isn't very happy about that. Um, could have been somebody that you or the other person lived with and they ended up moving out or they were asked to leave. You ended up moving out, whatever it was. It was somebody you had a relationship with where they had a relationship with and this person isn't very happy about it is what I'm getting. Okay, so that could prove to be problematic. So I that's why I pull clarifiers. So it isn't you guys. So that makes perfect sense then. So somebody is not happy about this um, this wonderful love. It, it kind of sucks too because it seems like whenever we like find someone, there's always like that person or that one thing. Like things would be perfect if dot, dot, dot. Well, th this is your if dot, dot, dot here. Can you please throw a clarification on the Knight of Beetles in the upright for Virgos? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages for the Knight of Beetles as they move out at end of January, end of February. Please, King of Pentacles in reverse. The World card in reverse. Okay, so you have a love plan here, but there's there's lack of follow through in regards to something. Somebody is not, um, this might not end up being as stable as you think it is. I don't know if because this person's calling in, causing instability. You can't seem to kind of wrap things up. Work hard in reverse is also opting for the easiest path also. And a knight of, knight of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that doesn't have any follow through. Somebody who's fraudulent. I wonder if some of you are working a lot. I, I wonder if 
you're kind of working to ground yourselves. I'm wondering if that's the case. Like that's your safe place, your work. Because the Nine of Pentacles is about working very hard. Okay, working hard, planning, low risk. This is, you guys are, again, you're, you're, you're kind of falling back into, mm, this is too, this is a little bit risky. I don't know if I want to do this. Here it looked like, at first initially, it looked like you wanted to work on it until I pulled clarifier. So now I think you guys are going back to like the safest bet. You're feeling like this person might not have follow through. They might not be as stable as you thought they were. You might be second guessing this again. So you're playing it safe. All right, well, let me see what this has to say. The moon card in reverse. Can you please provide clarification? And you might have discovered something that kind of made you think that. I don't think that's the reality of it, though. Um, it might just be that whoever this problematic person is that's causing this situation, over here, as you move out of January into February, you're deciding, well, I don't really know if I want to do this. I don't know if this is an adventure I want to have. Maybe you want them to resolve this baggage before you can sit, continue on this journey with them. Maybe you want to hear what their plan is in order to resolve this situation with this person. Um, because I keep on getting, this isn't an adventure I want to have. Not at this time. Can you please provide clarification on the moon card in reverse for Virgos as they move out of um, end of January into February. Judgment card. Okay, so you're judging this situation. You see everything clearly. You are judging things. And with the moon card, you're seeing everything clearly. You're under, okay, so you're understanding. So this could be negative influences that are impacting the relationship. And you're judging this. You're having an awakening about this. You don't know if you want to kind of get involved in this um, struggle. Yeah, you're not sure. What I'm getting from this is that you, you do like this person, you think it's fantastic, but what they come with, their baggage or whatever, is not something like you feel like dealing with right now. So you're trying to figure out whether or not you want to deal with this, and I feel like it's baggage. I feel like this person comes with like a, you know, a sidecar, and, and it's this problematic person who, who is always going to be causing um, difficulties for you. So you're thinking about, well, maybe the best thing for me to do is just, you know, figure out how they're going to deal with it, how they're going to kind of wrap this up. And then you have this clarity here between the moon and the judgment card being like, yes, I like this person, but I'm not sure that I'm the person that, that, that wants to have this adventure or deal with this struggle that they're going through or have this in our relationship, affecting our relationship. And this ace of wands to me indicates that you kind of, you do have you have great chemistry with this person, passion about this. Um, you want to have a new beginning with them, but you want them to do something about this, and you want them to do it now. Okay, so I feel like yes, this person's great, but you need things to be a certain way before you kind of continue on with them. Um, this is so problematic here. So if you could, if you could say in the comments who this person is, it's really kind of bothering and keeping you from your fairy tale. Let me know. Um, because I'm strongly getting that. Okay. So if you need um, a personal reading about this, <laughs> uh, just email me. My email is down below. And then make sure you click on the link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling, whether it's a crush, a current, or an ex. Okay. Adios from Veronica Garnet. I will see you guys mid-month. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. Bye.